Etsy is a great alternative marketplace for selling digital products. And today we're going to look at how to create and sell a digital sticker set using AI. So the first thing that you really need to do is come up with an idea of the type of stickers that you're gonna sell. Now, you can either come up with that yourself or you can use something like ChatGPT for inspiration. So if we just have a quick look here on ChatGPT, within seconds, we've already got ideas of the types of stickers that we could make for Etsy. And so if we look through some of these, we might come up with some nice ideas of sticker sets that we could make. So we have things here like planner stickers, laptop stickers, pet lovers, nature and outdoors, food and drink, and lots of other things. But I've come up with my own idea. Because these videos are mostly about book publishing, I thought, why not create a sticker set for book lovers? And so now we know the type of sticker set we're going to create, we can go onto Etsy and look at the competition. So if we go on Etsy and search for book sticker sets, we can see what comes up. So some really nice ones here. There's some book sticker packs. But what I'm noticing is most of them are either stickers of books or inspirational quotes. So what I think I'll do to kind of stand out as best as I can is to create some more anime specific book loving stickers. But before I create them, I want to know whether they're selling and if there's demand for book stickers. So for that, I use a tool called Everbee. Now you might have heard me mention this before, but it's a really good tool and I'm gonna show you how it works. So Everbee is a plugin that just sits on your web browser, but it adds this extension on the left-hand side. It has research tools and then it also has optimize options. So to start with, what we want to do is have a little look to see if there's any interest in book stickers, especially digital book stickers. So what we can do for that is just type into the search bar and then the Everbee plugin will load this additional information here. And what that is, is it's an estimated amount of monthly searches on Etsy. One easy way of doing product research is just by start typing in the search bar on Etsy and kind of see what comes up. So as you can see here, these are things that have been searched for at the moment. So you've got things like book stickers for Kindle, book stickers bundle, book stickers pack, book stickers Halloween, book stickers romance. So that straight away gives you some ideas of the types of book stickers that you could make that people are searching for. I'm also having a quick look here to see if anyone's searching for digital stickers around books. And just by typing that into Etsy, it estimates that there's roughly 730 searches a month on that search term. So if we have a quick look at the competition on that exact search term, we can see here you've got some digital book stickers, some reading journals, vintage book stickers and, and some others. But what we can do with Everbee as well is we can dive deeper. So if we come into the keyword research tool, we can search here for digital book stickers and see what the results come up with. So on this page, you have the keyword, the volume of searches per month, the amount of competition, so the amount of listings on Etsy, and the keyword score, which basically ranks how good that keyword could be for you. So the higher the keyword score, the better. But what we want to do here is just remove any kind of misspellings and things that aren't really searched for that often. So we're gonna do a minimum competition of maybe say 100. And there we can see a better reflection of what people are searching for. So it says at the top that our search term of digital book stickers has a search volume of approximately 726 searches a month. It's got a lot of competition. And so the keyword score is quite low but here below it's given other ideas around a similar topic. So if we scroll down, we can see some similar searches which have a better keyword score. Now, these are quite wide, so what we could do is make sure it includes the word book, for example, seeing as we want to do book digital stickers. We can now rank by keyword score, and we can find some really good keywords to try and rank for on Etsy. Now, the ones that are sticking out to me towards the top with the high keyword scores are book stickers annotating, which spell book sticker, book lover digital stickers, and then there's some more below as well. So from these, a search term that I think is most like what I'm trying to go for is probably this book lover digital stickers. So that one has less search volume, but it's also got a lot less competition. So there's a better chance to rank organically for that search term. 
So now if we go back to Etsy and search for that search term, it'll bring up our competition. Okay, so I've decided what type of sticker set I'm going to make. I've used Everbee to help me do a bit of keyword research and kind of look what's selling. And now it's time to make the stickers. Now, if you're like me and you don't have that much artistic skill yourself, you can either pay someone to design them on sites like Fiverr, or you can utilize AI. Now, you can also download them from sites like Creative Fabrica. However, a lot of people are gonna be doing that, so the stickers won't be unique, and you need to make sure that you have the right license to be able to sell them as well. So we're gonna head over to Midjourney and create some stickers. So Midjourney is a Discord server. You can utilize whatever AI you want, but Midjourney is my preferred choice. And to get started, you just do a prompt, which is forward slash imagine. Here we need to tell Midjourney what we want. And we want a sticker. I want it in an anime style. I want it to depict a book lover. I then want it to be isolated so that we can cut it out on Photoshop. And then I like to state either a dark or a gray or a colored background, because then it's easier to isolate and to cut out. Now, this is used in the default mid-journey version 5.2, I believe. But for our type of stickers, we probably want to use the Niji mode. These are very anime orientated and probably better suited to stickers. So here's an example of what these book stickers might look like. So they've worked well with a white border around the edge, but they're not really colorful. They're not really the right style that I'm looking for. So what I'm going to do is go into the settings and change it to Niji mode. Now, if we put in the same prompts, you'll see the differences. Now, a tip here is to be quite descriptive with what you're looking for for your stickers. So for example, if you want a cat reading a book, make sure that you write that down. These are quite general terms at the moment, so it's giving AI a lot to interpret. Whereas if you can be nice and descriptive, the results are gonna be more what you're looking for. But already, as you can see here, this bottom set, which is using the Niji setting, are much more what I'm looking for. But again, they're not quite right, not quite colorful enough, and some of them don't have books in. So if I do another search term saying, sticker of an anime girl, colorful, with a book, isolated on a dark background, let's see what it comes up with. So here we have some much better ones. This one at the bottom's quite nice. And these ones at the top aren't quite right, but we can do variations and see if we can get something from them. So you can do as many stickers as you want. The upload limit on Etsy is five uploads of 20 megabytes each. So you've basically got 100 megabytes to play with. Now, each of these stickers is probably gonna be around two megabytes. So that would allow me to go up to maybe 45 to 50 stickers as a total offering. But for this one, we're just gonna do 12 stickers just to get going. Now, let's say we like this third one. All you need to do is upscale that number. Midjourney will then give you that as a single option. And what you can now do on Midjourney is upscale it. So if we click upscale by two, that will make it twice the size of the original, which will be much better quality for printing. Now here are a few that I made earlier. So what we're gonna do is cut those out, add them to a digital sticker sheet and upload them to Etsy. So for this, there are sites out there on the internet which can cut these out for you, or you can utilize AI, but for me, I'm doing it the old fashioned way in Photoshop. You can also do it using programs like Canva. All we're gonna do here is use a magic tool to delete the background. And there we have our sticker. We're gonna save that as a PNG, which means the background is gonna be transparent. Now, we need to rinse and repeat that for all of our stickers. So once I've cut out all 12 of my stickers, we also need to add them to a digital sticker sheet. So what we wanna do here is create a new document, which is basically the size of a piece of paper. Now we wanna make sure that it's 300 pixels per inch for high quality. And we also wanna make sure that it's CMYK for printing. All we need to do here is drag on all of our stickers and place them for printing. And to save a bit of time, here's one I made earlier. So this sheet here has all of my 12 stickers in PNG with transparent backgrounds. That means that they can be cut when printing. And then what I also do is add a PDF version with a stroke around the edge. If people use cutters when they're printing, what that black line around the edge will do is tell the program where to cut. So these should print out and cut effectively. And how this can also be used is it can just be a guide for people when they're cutting it out with scissors. So what we have so far are 12 PNG stickers 
we have a sheet of paper with all of the stickers on, and then we have another sheet of paper with all of the stickers on with an outline. So that is everything that we need for this book lover sticker set. So if we go back to Etsy, we can start to create our listing. So the first thing that we need to do is add a title. Now we're gonna utilize some of those keywords that we found using Everbee in this. So we had bookish stickers and book lover stickers come up as potential keywords to target. So they are both going in the title as well as some additional keywords at the end. The next thing that you need to do is create a product image for your listing. Here's one that I created earlier. Now on here for me, I've just got the title, a little bit of the information about what you get, a preview of the sticker set, and then I also hero my favorite sticker there as well. Scrolling down, this is where you upload your files. Now, seeing as you can only attach five files, what you need to do is compress your individual stickers into a zip file. So uploading here, we've uploaded our PNG sheet, our PDF sheet with lines, and then we've got our pack of stickers there as well. So basically when someone buys this sticker set, they will be sent those three files to download. Moving on to the description, we need to include our keywords here, but we also need to let the customer know exactly what they're getting. We've made it very clear that they're 12 cute book stickers. It's a digital download sticker sheet. We've put a little bit more information and then we've gone into details about the item. Down at the bottom, I include information about rights as well. I've created these for personal use only, so I need to include that here. So I've, I've even include if you'd like to use these stickers for print on demand, please drop me a message. Scrolling down, you can set the price for this sticker set. I've gone for 249 here. If I don't see any sales, I'll drop this down further. For the quantity, the max you can put is 999. So for a digital product where you don't need to ship anything, I'd recommend going in at 999. And then for every sale that happens, that will drop down. So you can just go back in and update that whenever you want. Then scrolling down, you have to go through the core details. So here is a digital file that I made. It's a finished product and it was made this year. So we aren't shipping these, so we don't need any production partners. So we just click apply. We can set the width of the digital product. So for this, I just put the specs of the page that we've used, which is eight and a half by 11 inches. It's a digital sticker set. This is optional, but you can enter a theme if you like and then you come down to your keywords. Now this is where the Everbee tool comes in super useful and we can enter all of those lovely keywords that we found to try and rank for those keywords when people are searching on Etsy. So for my keywords, I've gone for a range. So some more broader search terms like sticker sheet all the way through to a bit more niche down like book stickers, digital book sticker, bookish stickers, etc. Scrolling down, you can select if this goes in a section of your shop you can choose whether to feature this on your page, and then you've got renewal options. So whenever you upload to Etsy, it generally has a four month listing timeframe. It costs 20 cents to list your Etsy listing for that amount of time. And when it runs out, you need to renew it to keep selling it on Etsy. So if you've got a lot of products, it might be useful to use the automatic option. But for me and for us, if we're just getting going on Etsy and I want as much control as possible, I'm gonna put that on manual. And then if it's not selling after four months, there's not really any reason for me to renew it. I'll just go on and create some bigger and better sticker sets. I'm gonna click manual and then I'm gonna click publish. Now this is one that I created earlier so we could see what it looks like. So mine says publish changes, but yours will say publish. Now when you've created it, it will look a little bit like this. So here you will see your product listing image. And if you have more than one, you can scroll through those. You have the option to add to basket, to save it. Click here to read all of the information. And then you've got the reviews for your shop on the left. Now digital sticker sets can be quite saturated on Etsy, just like publishing books on Amazon KDP. So there's a few ways to try and get sales. One is definitely by volume, so adding a lot of products. And then the other important thing is to make sure you're doing keyword research and make sure the products are as good as possible. So I published this a month or so ago. So if we look on Etsy for digital bookish stickers, ours isn't listed in the top four, but if we scroll down, 
it's number five in the results, which is pretty good. So you can see here the product image is cropped to square. So when I create these moving forward, what I'll do is add a safety zone to make sure that the sticker and all the text are within that square crop. But it's still amazing to see my stickers ranking for that search term. Now, I hope that was a good top level introduction for you to help you make your own sticker sets. If I've missed anything out, please let me know in the comments below. Now, there are different ways to go about creating these sticker sets, but this is my approach and the way that I find works for me. So far as well, people tend to like the stickers. They're of a decent size and a decent quality. And a lot of the people who are selling like 500 stickers, they're gonna be quite small resolution. Whereas mine are focused on a bigger file size, which will be a better resolution for printing. So this is another Etsy video. If there's anything that you'd like to see me cover around selling on Etsy, please let me know. Until then, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you on the next one.